Okay, Mexican deal back. Uh, it's Saturday morning. Looks like it's uh, about 9.05, 9.06. Okay, what I've done is I've got a five pound pork roast in here. Um, let's see if I can show it to you. There it is. It's got the femur bone in there. Um, got a bunch of guys coming over. We're going to, a couple of new preppers. We're going to show them what's going on and how we do everything. So here's, here's how I do it. Um, a couple people asked about my recipe. Uh, this is six potatoes uh, cut up and rinsed. I drop those in there. Uh, I'll get you the pricing on what I think all of this costs for the entire meal. It's really relatively cheap. Um, this is four small onions or one big onion, however you want to look at it. Uh, these came out of my garden, so my cost on those is almost nil. Um, this is three celery stalks uh, cut up and rinsed. Those go in there. Okay, now what I do is when I find carrots on sale, I buy the big bag and I run through my salad shooter. And then I just freeze them. So when I need them, there they are. And that was a half a sandwich bag of those. And those will finish defrosting and going through there. Okay. Now, just for giggles, I use one jalapeno on this one. I usually don't do that. I just figured I want to give it a little kick this time. Okay, you get a spoon here. Okay, this right here is the garlic I get at Sam's. Okay, uh, these are about $4 and it's a 48 ounce tub. I buy one to two every time I go to Sam's. One huge heaping tablespoon, put it right in the middle. That's it. There's a lot of garlic. Now, this came out of the pantry because I'm rotating. Uh, actually, that one's not, didn't come, it did come out of the pantry and nobody rotated it properly. Because that's two months ago. Okay, this is basil. It goes in these Parmesan cheese containers uh, after I dehydrate it. Pretty much put basil and oregano and everything. Here's oregano. So I put a little basil, a little oregano. Or quite a bit more basil, some oregano, garlic. Okay, now this is Allegro. It's a, it's a meat marinade that I happen to like. This is the original. Um, they've got other flavors, hickory and some others. Uh, you can use those if you like. I just put uh, a couple tablespoons in there. Okay. Black pepper. dash of salt. I'm not a big salt person when it comes to cooking. Back in, okay, uh, I don't use a lot of salt when I cook, uh, so there's that. Um, I just set, oh, there it is. My Montreal steak seasoning. Put some of that in there. Like that. Close that up. And then, I just take a pitcher of water and I get it up right about here. So just about everything is sitting in water, and there we go. That's it. It's on low. I put the lid on. It is 9 o'clock. It'll be done by about 2 or 3. Uh, we probably won't even need it until 5. I'll just put it on warm at that point. And there you go. I'll give you another shot here in a little bit.